everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dalia and it would mean so much to me if you subscribed so that we can stay connected and we can be friends. In today's video, I wanted to share with you how I pack my traveling backpack. So I'm actually currently nearing the end of a five week travel journey where I only use the things in this backpack and it was my first time doing this so I want to share with you guys how I packed this because it's something that I had to learn how to navigate and find what worked best for me. Also a few of you have, re have requested that you wanted to see how I packed it so I thought that it would be a great opportunity for me to share with you guys. As you can tell I'm not home right now. This is, this is, um, I'm in Vietnam. So over here, I have the Osprey Farpoint in the 40 liter. This is actually the men's. Uh, the women's model is called Fairview. The only difference is really just the colors that were available. I preferred something a little bit darker. This is like a gray color, whereas the Fairview that was available in store at the time I was there was this olive color. So for purely aesthetic reasons, I chose the Farpoint instead of the Fairview. Again, this is 40 liters, and I got it in the small medium, which is 38 to 48 centimeters. So I wanted to share with you why I chose to go with this backpack while I was shopping around. I actually was debating around two to three other backpacks. But what sold me on this one, even though it was a little bit more expensive, was because of this padded hip belt. So right here, as you can see, this hip belt is super thick and has a giant buckle that you can strap around your hip. And trust me, this padded hip belt makes the biggest difference when this is loaded up and super heavy and you're carrying it. I've worn this backpack walking up super steep steps in Salpa and all different places where the terrain is just really difficult to navigate through. But because of this hip belt, it really alleviates the weight off your shoulders and it really helps make carrying this heavy bank a lot easier. Of course, it also comes with chest strap over here with a built-in whistle right here. Also really important, so you want to have the backpack really close to your back and really tight around your chest and then that extra support on your hip just makes the world's difference. Unfortunately this backpack doesn't come with a rain cover but those you can just purchase for about like $20 separately. It's not a huge deal and luckily on my trip this time I did not come across torrential rain pour or actually any rain so by God's grace. Like a lot of these other traveling backpacks you can also hide and secure all these straps, the hip belt, the shoulder straps within this zipper thing that they have, this flap that you can zip all around the back so that it's a little bit easier to take through security. Personally, I'm going to use it just because I need to take this on and off my back and I don't want to have to like unzip the whole thing. But you, it's whatever works for you, right? Because if you want to hand carry it with a side handle over here that's and that works for you, then you can do that too. But I, I like that there's that option that you can hide all these straps and you know seal it all nicely when it's all tucked in. The other reason why I went for this backpack specifically is because it actually comes with a laptop sleeve. I knew that on this trip I would be collecting a lot of footage and I had a hard drive which I needed a computer to transfer the files. Having that laptop slip was important to me. The only downside of it is that it is in the second pocket so it's a little bit far away from the back which means that the weight is distributed a little bit to the outer side. So me being a little petite person, if this outside part was a little bit heavy, I'd like fall back a lot. So I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it is a little bit awkward for the laptop to be closer to the outside as opposed to closer to your back. So that's something you might want to take note of. So the back frame to this backpack is really strong and I can tell that it is quite good quality compared to the other backpacks that I was debating on. Definitely really padded all around. The shoulder straps are really nice and thick. So overall, I, as a first time backpacker, I really like this backpack. I just want to show you how I packed it. So I want to show you guys the main compartment here. It opens up clamshell style. Ta-da! Sorry, because I'm still on my trip, it's a little bit messy for you. I literally have a dirty laundry bag right here. But that's real life, right? This is what we're gonna be doing if you're traveling. So I just wanna show you what it's actually going to be like. So in this main compartment here, one thing that I found to be really, really helpful is to have packing cubes. It truly makes such a big difference when you're trying to organize. Right now I only have one. I should have another one because I have like loose clothes over here. But highly recommend getting packing cubes so that you can kind of compartmentalize your bag even further inside the space here. I have some old clothes, some more old clothes. So we'll unpack those. Over here is my very disformed, it used to be a nice rectangle, but I, I'm constantly moving on this trip, so I just stuffed my things in this uh, packing bag. But 
Um, I have one of these. So on this trip, I basically only packed three t-shirts, two tank tops, and like a couple sleeping shirts slash pillowcases that I use, t-shirts that I use as pillowcases. And in here, I also have two pairs of shorts. So that fits in all here, and I like to stick it at the bottom. And actually, because it's not high enough, um, this part, there's like a lot of space here, which is why I like to stuff under here like this, um, more more close so that it gives it a little bit more support. And it actually fills up the bag, the bottom of the bag quite nicely, so I'll show you. So right here, there's that part that comes out without sticking that thing under there, which I only discovered in like the middle of my trip where I was like, oh, actually, there's space here. Um, then this part got filled up and it was so much better, so maybe that's something you can keep an eye out for. Just have a hoodie that I laid on top. And then um, some, like I said, some loose clothes, like a pair of jeans, a jacket over here, a t-shirt. And on the side, I previously, in the beginning of the trip, I had a pad of baby wipes along the side here with my toiletry bag right here, which I like to keep just on the sides to kind of pack things in and kind of form a structure. This is just in a laundry bag holding some other clothing, like undergarments and bathing suits and stuff like that. I just want to put the heaviest things in this big section here because it's closest to my back, so it means it's going to get the most support. Here I also just have my laptop charger and some other technological things like batteries. <laughs> Struggles when you gotta film it when you're trying to travel. Like, ain't no thing that's traveling like mm -mm, girl. In the side of the big compartment, remember I said I put my baby wipes and my toiletries bag along the side? I also usually have my flip flops there on the, along the side, so kind of really just creating like a framework around the entire bag along the side there. Moving along to this mesh part, over here I have two laundry bags. One of them is for my socks and the other one is for my underwear. Um, I also have like a Ziploc bag for my liners and pads and things like that. I got some tissue packs here. Previously I did also put in here five uh, granola bars for emergency food. The only thing I would say about this section of the bag in particular is that it is quite shallow. I'll show you the side view, it is quite thin. I've seen other backpacks where it truly is more deep and you can actually hold a lot more. Here, I'm really squeezing in here because it's it's really flat. There's really not much depth to this mesh part. You play around with how much you can fit there. For me, I fit small things like underwear and socks and some pads and some so next I'm going to show you the middle compartment of this bag. Inside here I store my laptop. I believe this is a 13 inch laptop. So that definitely fits in this part over here. So in this opening here I store my toiletries. I have it all in a ziplock bag. All of which I didn't end up using a lot of because a lot of the places I went to actually provided it. So I'm just carrying this for nothing. I got my camera battery charger. I have some medicine that I switched. You can fill whatever you want in this section, section actually. In addition to the laptop's uh, compartment over here, there is a zipper mesh section. And here is where I keep my hard drive because it needs to be nicely protected. And just for the toiletries, I just like to stick it near the bottom as much as possible because then it just fills up the backpack nicely. So there's one last pocket in this backpack and it's up here. In this pocket, it's really just for like accessories or um, anything that you want to access easily. But throughout this entire trip, I've been wearing a fanny pack uh, and that fanny pack really never leaves me. It has all my important documents and my cash and things like that. So for this pocket, I use it to store all my plastic bags. Also just wanted to note that I have a lock that is able to loop through these zippers here. So if you want, you can definitely lock and secure your belongings as well. In the pocket here, I just have like my flashlight and in this one, um, I've stored a water bottle one or two times throughout this entire trip, so you can definitely do that as well. So that is how I packed this backpack, and those are my thoughts on the Osprey 4.40 liter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below your experiences with backpacking, your favorite travel backpack, what you like about yours, and any other thoughts because I am new to this, so I would love to hear um, what you have to say. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.